Just out of curiosity, are there some interesting intricacies connecting nuclear fusion power plant to the power grid? Like, is there some like constraints to the old schoolness of the power grid, let's say in the United States? Like, how do you get that, that Microsoft thing you mentioned? How do you get to the, from the nuclear fusion power plant to a computer with some GPUs? Mm -hmm. How do we make that connection? Or is that a trivial thing? None of this is trivial. <laughs> um, but there are, I think, simple ways, and there's some really interesting engineering ways to do this. So just from the, the fundamental basics, um, as we're doing fusion, we push back on the magnetic field, we recharge these capacitors that, that start where the electricity started from. Um, and that electricity then sits on a capacitor at high voltage, DC voltage, that's steady. Um, at that point, it's reasonably easy to make 60 hertz power, make traditional AC power. It's the same way as you can take electricity in a battery and use an inverter and just invert that to AC power. And large scale grid inverters, we know how to do pretty well. The one of the sort of like unique things about a pulsed version of this, because it's pulsed and a repetition rate between one and 10 times a second, we can adjust the power output. Mm -hmm. And so as the grid needs more power, we can actually dial it up and down. And we've been able to demonstrate that with our fusion systems. The smaller ones, the smaller plasma systems, we've gone from zero, from off, to all the way up to 100 times a second and shown we can do 100 hertz operation. In fact, that system we ran for over a billion operations and just ran it steady all day long. So each individual pulse is independent in some sense. Each individual pulse is different, where you put in your fuel, you do fusion, you exhaust it cool. through those pumps from eBay, and then, um, <laughs> and then power output and electricity oh, output. Wow. But there's probably some more clever ways to do this. And and when we when we founded Helion, the goal was to build low cost base load electricity. And what we started to see working with Microsoft, um, working with others now, that data centers are going to be one of the biggest power needs in the future. And 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 we know that's coming up. Um, and what's really unique is that power in this form, this direct recovery. Not the steam turbine part, but direct electri electricity is already DC, which is steady, which is what computers really want anyway. And so are there really unique ways to take DC power sitting on this capacitor and rather than going AC to the grid and having all these transmission losses, just going direct DC to the data center? Can you plug right in? Um, and so that's some of the things that my team is looking at now is can you do that direct DC conversion at super high efficiencies and run those GPUs directly. Um, that would be really powerful. We could figure out how to do it. Uh, but but that those are some of the things that I think there might be some unique ways that fusion and data centers can really couple together. There's a whole cooling part to it too. Most of my cooling is cooling semiconductors and cooling power switching, just like a data center. So there's a lot of interesting uh, engineering ways that we can bring those two together. So a deeper integration be yep. between uh, the, the power plant and the thing that is powering. 